Continuing coverage tonight on the final state budget plan for New York State. And today, our Capitol correspondent, Elise Klein, she breaks down a, propose, a proposal for the child tax credit, which is going to be included in that final budget. New York's $229 billion final state budget passed a few days ago expands the child tax credit to children under the age of four. The child tax credit in New York State previously was only available to children five and up. When you think about young parents, the cost of diapers and formula, it's more expensive for those little ones. So this is going to help our families in dealing with the affordability crisis that we said we'd address. According to the Schuyler Center for Analysis and Advocacy, this expansion starting next year will reach an additional 900,000 children. And some child care advocates say this is a step in the right direction to help families, but that there is more legislators could have done. The tax credit, taking that down to cover zero to four, um, is pretty amazing. Um, I think we were disappointed to see that it's not going to cover the very lowest income families. Um, so that's a gap. Currently in New York, the maximum amount received per child per year from the child tax credit is $330. But it can be less with the phase-in included in the child tax credit. The phase-in is essentially an arced calculation in which families start to receive benefits and then incrementally get to a point of receiving the maximum amount based on increased income. Some advocates say they were hoping legislators would eliminate this in the budget. Getting rid of the phase-in and making sure that the people with the lowest incomes can get the full credit, has the greatest poverty reducing effect and the greatest racial equity effect. In Albany, Elise Klein, WENY News.